Thank you for joining one of our Access Procure Wizard tutorials. In this session, we're going to look at creating favorites and managing them. On my dashboard here, you can see section where it says my favorites in the middle of the dashboard, and there are favorites already created here. What I'm going to do is create a favorite from scratch, which may happen when you start using your system first. On your dashboard, you wouldn't have any favorites already created. So we're going to create a favorite from scratch and I'm going to call it test just to distinguish it from the other favorites that are here. Okay, so you can see that there's a long list of favorites here. If I just press on create favorite, and in here, it will look for the display name. And if you see there, you've got the asterisks. Anything with the asterisks means that uh, it needs to be, the information needs to be put in, it is essential. Okay, so display name, as I said, I'm going to call it test. Um, and the description, you don't have to put anything in here if you don't want to, there's no asterisks beside it. The sort type will default. There are three options. So default means that the favorites, the products will be listed the way in the order that you put them in. The other option would be to go by category or the most popular or common option is to, that they will sort alphabetically. So I'm going to choose alphabetical. And then there are a couple of other options here to show alternatives. <clears throat> or to share through departments. Now, to show alternatives means that if I pick a product or there's a product in my favorites list and I want to be able to see an alternative product, it may not be the exact same brand, it may not be the exact same pack size, there might be differences, but it's the same type of product. So it's an alternative product and it may be cheaper. So we would always recommend that you turn this on. Um, and then you will see alternative products that uh, make Muppets cheaper for you. Share it through departments. If you want this favorite list, share it across your department. So if you're working in the kitchen department and you want the other uh, members of the department to be able to see, uh, see your favorites list, then you can turn this on. There is a further step that you need because you need to apply um, or allocate the department that you want uh, to, the, to be able to see this um, favorites list. We'll, we'll look at this in a bit in more depth, but here uh, we must assign a mini, a mini market. Now, it's not possible to have a favorites list with multiple products from different mini markets. You can only select the one mini market um, for the favorites list. So if I just click down, we'll see the options. We've got beverage, food, uh, food and beverage direct supplies, and let's say laundry. We'll, we'll ignore this one for the moment. So I'm going to select food, and now I'm going to create. So just looking back, now we could have here the name it could of your favorites list, could be your freezer, it could be your cold room, it could, you may go based on categories, we would always recommend per category, um, meat and poultry, fish and seafood, uh, fruit and veg, dry goods, and so on and so forth. If you're looking at beverage, you know, spirits and liqueurs, beer and cider, or maybe beer on its own, or kegs. We never recommend for you to select a supplier's name. Now, it may be uh, it may be suitable for you to do so, but if you select a supplier's, put in a supplier's name here as your favorites, if you're selecting that product, that product may come from multiple different suppliers. So it can get confusing then um, if you don't spot that and that it comes in from a different supplier. So uh, we'll just leave this with the name test for the moment so that it stands out and I'm going to press create. So when creating your favorites, the first thing that you have to do is do just what we did, create the name of the favorites. And then the second thing is to add the products to your favorites list. So to do that, over here on the, on the right hand side, we have options, we can add products, um, we can edit the favorites list and we can print the favorites list here. We can also manage all of our favorites and we'll go into that in a moment. 
So to add products to the favorites, we're going to click on here. And the when you go to add products, you need to go into the mini market as if you're creating a new basket, but you don't have to create a basket um, necessarily, but you do have to enter in here. So the, just like with the new basket, you don't have to put an order name in here. The requested by, if it's not mandatory, you won't have to put it in there. And the delivery date is just till tomorrow. Um, use department invoice address here, um, and the department then is the kitchen, for example, here. Now, if I press continue, this brings me into the mini market. So what I need to do is I need to find products and I need to add them to my favorites list. So let's let let's let on that uh, in this you can see my favorites and the name is test. So we can go on the left hand side to the quick product search and let's let on that we're looking for uh, different breads that we want to add into our products, uh, into our favorites and we'll search all of our bread here and you can see the 44 products um, have come up here. And let's say that I'm looking for the flowered baps and here it is, or I can use my filter and start to look for the different types of bread. So if I put in flowered, it's going to narrow down the search. Now this is not a search uh, area. This is a filter area to narrow down the search. So when I put in flowered, or even if I put in flower, we've got different options here. So I want to add this uh, flowered bap to my uh, favorites list and this red heart here that has a little plus sign on it if i click on that i can add this to my favorites so i press on that and now we've got the favorites list and we've got uh, this is this is the one that i'm working with and the name is there and i just press add now if i come back to my home page and if I look for my favorites list here, now when I created it first, it was up at the top, but then the, uh, because these, um, the favorites lists are alphabetical. So you can see now that it's gone down to the bottom because it begins with T, which is test. So if I click on this as if to place an order, you'll see that a new basket option comes up again. And if I press continue, it'll bring me into the favorites list. And here we've got the back that I had um, that I had added to my favorites list. Now, if I want to remove this, you see the gray heart. And if I hover over it, it says remove from favorites. And if I want to remove it, then I just press on that gray heart and that's it. It's been removed out of my favorites. If I'm within the mini market here, I can see manage my favorites. I can see my favorites here and you can see that there, there are zero products in there. Um, I'll do another quick product search here and I'll just look for bread and the products will come up and I'm going to just grab a few products, throw it into my favorites list and the hot dog roll and the petit pan. So we'll just add those products in here, just three products. And on the left hand side then, or sorry, on the right hand side, we can see my favorites or the left hand side, we can see my favorites here. And if you click on this and you will see the list, now the uh, three products haven't actually come up. So I'm just going to refresh the page and you can see the three products in there. So now if I select the test uh, favorites, you've got the three products in there and you can remove them as we've seen. You can print off my favorites uh, in there as well. So you can go to manage my favorites from here. And this will bring you into a new tab and you can see all of your different favorites lists in here. And you can add a new favorites list from here. And if we go down along, you'll see all the existing, you'll see the test here. It gives you the product count of how many products are in each um, favorites list the assigned mini market. So at the mini market, you can change that if you want to, but this is uh, this is where the uh, where it'll advise you. Uh, the description, if you want to put it in and there. And if you want to, in this area, you can move up or down these line uh, lines of, of favorites list. However, on the dashboard, it will always, they will always default to 
um, alphabetically. Uh, but this is just for this area here if you want to move them up and down and the order that they're in. You can come here to edit uh, the favourites list, you can delete the favourites list and you can print it from here as well. Uh, coming down here, you can clone the favourites from another user. So I have the options of maybe some of my colleagues. I can come in here and I can clone and I can see all of their favourites and I can simply clone the favourites and those lists will come over to my, uh, my favourites dashboard. And um, now if they make any changes, once I clone, if they make any changes to their existing, it won't automatically make any changes to mine because I've just cloned them over, I've just copied them. So just coming out of here, I want to show you this area and how you can access it from the dashboard. You've got manage uh, favorites in here and you also have this edit button. So if I went down to, um, to the test area here or the test favorites, I can edit the favorites list and here I can edit it here. I can make any changes on what or how I created the favorites list. See the boxes that we ticked. If I wanted to untick those boxes, um, I can do so there. Now just coming back, so that's the edit button here, or I can go back, I can go through the manage favorites here and it, you'll see that it'll take me back to this page. And here where I can edit um, again, and if I go down to test and I press the edit button, it'll bring me into here again. So there are a few different ways that you can get into edit um, and manage the favorites. So you can see on the products tab, you can see the products that are listed. Um, if you had the, uh, on the details, if you had the, the sort type as default, then you could um, move these products around the way that you want to. Um, the departments then, uh, just coming back to the details tab, share through departments. So you need to go back in and edit and look at the departments tab. And this is where you would select the department that you want to share your favorites. And other users of the system can go in and can select products from your favorites list but they cannot make changes to the to your favorites list. You're in charge. You have the master document um, and whatever changes they will see. So that can be very, very handy if you've got multiple users within one department and you might have a head of department and they create the favorites list. And then if any changes are needed, it's made to that favorite list and then every other user will be able to access it and be able to create orders from the favorites list. So we would need to attach a department to this favorite list. And so we'll select the site first, which is Hotel um, Apple, and then the department. So if we just, we want to share this favorites across the kitchen department. So I'm going to press attach department. And here now it says users placing orders through any attached departments will be able to view and use this favorites list when building a basket. They will not be able to alter the products within. OK, so that's how they would uh, share the departments. Now, just as a note, um, this option here must be turned on within the roles permissions of the uh, the user who who has this um, this sharing of departments. So if I go into the admin area and you would need to contact your administrator to do this, but then they go into the organization administrat administration area um, they'll go into the role and it just highlights which role I'm under here. And you can go to edit and go to permissions and under the order management area, there's a little box down here that says um, can share favorites through departments. So that needs to be turned on for that user to be able to share uh, their favorites within their department. Um, so that's just a little advanced area. And just coming back then to the, back to our homepage. And um, that's how you create favorites and you can edit the favorites. You can delete the, you need to add, you need to create the favorites list, add their products. You can delete the products. You can manage and edit the favorites list itself. You can share your favorite uh, list across different departments. 
um, you can choose or just across the one department with your own um, colleagues. And you can also clone somebody else's favorites um, then as well uh, through, uh, through the Manage Favorites area. So thank you for watching. That is the end of the session on creating and managing favorites.